Hey guys, good morning. How's everybody doing? Hey, Refined Aurora, how are you? Yes, I did switch off of Twitch. Um, the YouTube channel is kind of where I want to grow right now. So that's where we're at. How are you doing this morning? I saw you were playing Dead by Daylight a little bit ago. get a couple of new things set up we got the BTTV so if you guys have that um, you can you can use our like custom emotes I think that's I think that's how it's gonna work I don't know you guys will have to tell me if you have BTTV and you try the emotes that I have set up in chat do they actually work also got a stream deck for Black Friday because it was on super super sale which is awesome so I spent kind of the weekend setting that sucker up <laughs> that's complicated it is some like complicated crap it's cool though I think it's gonna change my my creating art workflow also because it is just kind of like a infinitely programmable macro board which is cool Oh, thank you, Stream Elements. I'm glad the bot's are running. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. All right, so I lost a couple of pages worth of work over the weekend. I've kind of like scrapped together what I could find in the recovery files. So that's super fun. Um, we're going to be working on fixing that situation. It was it was page 13, 14, and 15. We got most of 13 back. We got most of 14 back, and then we got like none of 15. So that's gonna be kind of interesting. I honestly don't know what happened, so I made a separate, like, removable uh, terabyte drive backup on my computer as well. Because that's super scary. Not, not a fan. Not a fan of things disappearing on me. Have you guys ever had files just like vanish? It's super terrifying when it's for work. <laughs> I was like, uh, hi. This goes right from 12 to 16. Where's the pages I worked on all of Friday? Hello? <laughs> work on 15 later just because like that is kind of a super bummer I'm really annoyed that that page is just gone
Oh boy. Bit rate warning. <laughs> I also did reset this back up um, on OBS because of all of the Streamlabs BS last week. I was like, that's a. Uh, that's not gonna work for me. midstream or not. I really hope so. Okay. So that's this page. Um, finished. Now we gotta work on this one. What's annoying is like I worked really hard on these three panels <laughs> and they just vanished. Ugh. Why? Nothing like rework, huh? they're in our our net drive has like a trash can and it's possible that the pages are still in there so we'll just have to wait and see if I can get those recovered when Brando gets home we'll see maybe maybe not we could get those recovered because it's a ton of work, but I'm probably just going to have to redo it just in case, I guess. How is you guys' week going so far? I know it just kind of started. Just barely. that BTTV link if you guys want to have access to those emotes. Um, okay. So we want this like swirly tube thing to travel to the next panel. Gosh, I am just tired today. I don't know what the deal is. Probably just because it's Monday. Bucky, how's it going? How much sleep did you get? Uh, not enough, I guess. Like, five or six hours, maybe? Probably not enough. Probably needed a few more.
figure out where this little character is going to be. I remember messing with this a ton on Friday and moving this around so much. Actually having her stand on this table because she's so short <laughs> so I am doing pencils for the comic um, she's doing some kind of scientific processes here so this is kind of like the science apparatus she's she's doing some uh, refinement of some kind of ingredient I think to get as far as I can on uh, redoing these lost pages that kind of got dumped somewhere over the weekend and then when I get too frustrated we'll go back to coloring because that is fun and not frustrating. <laughs> Remember, I struggled with this hand quite a bit too so I'm probably gonna leave that for later because I don't want to I don't want to too hard for this morning. <laughs> a flat bottom of her face but not maybe that flat <laughs> not that far in a little bit. I think I probably need to turn off this mask so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. Oh, actually she's wearing goggles, huh? I forgot about the goggles. Crap. Always wear eye protection when you're doing mad science, right? Don't do mad science without eye protection. That's not wise. That's not a good idea. experiment blows up in your face.
extreme elements. Why are you doing a test message? Stupid. <laughs> Should I see if it's actually working? I doubt it is. It wasn't working when I was testing it this weekend. Yeah, no. <laughs> the bot, for some reason, not functional on YouTube. So that's something I gotta figure out. The, did get the BTTV emotes figured out though. Friend Aurora. Yeah, I did. I did switch from Twitch. <laughs> Trying to work on growing the YouTube channel a little bit more. Um, also, art viewership on Twitch is just tanking for some reason. So, felt like a good time to move over. How are you doing this morning? exciting a little bit of a little bit of a, an adjustment but it's been good is good here it is yeah doing pretty good i lost a couple of files over the weekend which i'm kind of ticked off about but we're we're working through it i don't know what happened they did a heck and disappear <laughs> huge amount of work though so like that's fine at first i thought it was just like legitimately three whole pages but it looks like it's probably just two or three panels and then a couple and then like one whole page so we'll get it fixed it's all good not the first time it's happened certainly not the last you do what you can, you back up stuff the best you can, and then, then you just kind of got to go from there, right?
remember what I was doing with this panel. There was something going on that like I changed with the face and I can't remember what the heck it was. face that I did on the thumbnail is just cracking me up. a bunch of my Clip Studio shortcuts into my stream deck just to test them out. They're actually kind of excellent. I'm kind of thrilled because you can set up full folders on the stream deck that are like other, other tools besides just streaming tools. ton of like keyboard shortcuts there's um this like move one and there's kind of like a rotate i tried to set up zoom and zoom out but those ones didn't quite work i'll have to play with those after i also set up like a whole timestamp thing like a timestamp system so we'll see how that works out too afterwards when I when I go back through the footage and the folders and <laughs> see how messed up it all got should be interesting at the very least there's probably some very usable stuff in there does look like stream elements is literally just going to run that test message every five minutes. <laughs> Fun. There's a way to just turn it off real quick. Yep, okay. Great. So now hopefully that won't do that. <laughs> Stupid. We love a bot that can do everything but its job, right?
So this isn't quite filling the panel like I want. So we're gonna resize this a little bit. probably need a sound effect of some kind. They'll probably do a, a glug here. Nate, good morning. Hello. Page 14. And then 15. I think I decided that there wasn't a ton that I needed to do on this one. I know I wanted to flush this panel out a little bit. Good, how about you? We still have leftovers. I don't even know how that's possible. good awesome did you get to go see family like this is kind of small in the panel so we're gonna zoom in a little bit there's peepers in the corner
that's pretty much cleaned up. This panel I feel like could use a little bit of work. get my brain around how that would have happened because they were stored in like two different places. sewing the parts together so you probably have like one arm off to the side and then she's probably stitching there we go that'll do that'll be better Tabby's just in the background doing like little wheezy snores. <laughs> page 15 okay now let's go back to coloring now that I got the stupid stupid redraw part of this done hooray <laughs> 
I hate it. <laughs> Why is that even a thing? I don't know. I don't know why it's a thing. to get color well okay not the first we did a couple of like color tests that all turned out pretty awesome I was really pleased with those this is just the first one that I'm like finalizing We will see how that goes. <laughs> no, you're good. I was just asking about your holidays. do another window there we go off to the side so I can see what the like what the zoom out view is looking like that would probably help <laughs> that would be better I think it was good spend time with your grandma and mom nice that sounds very relaxing kids. Every time we go to my in-laws with everybody there, I'm like, is there more kids than last time? Or is it the same number of kids as last time? <laughs> it's impossible to tell now. I swear there was like 12 pies. It was crazy. It was fun though. I had a good time.
sure how to go about shading this whole thing. It's huge. I don't do architecture very often, and so when I when I end up doing architecture, it's just kind of like, what do I do? <laughs> always haunted houses though I feel like I always end up doing haunted houses which is just silly How does one shade a topiary? <laughs> differentiate the the little tree trunk yeah that looks better let's do that on the other one real quick too You guys looking forward to the holidays what's your favorite like holiday holiday tradition do you guys cook anything every year we always do um rum lock cookies and some years i get a really big hankering for like homemade peppermint marshmallows for some reason Mix. My dad always makes Chex Mix. It's awesome. It's awesome Chex Mix. <laughs>
not had as many recently. Yeah, that's fair. You should make some new ones. New cooking traditions. Oh, get, oh, go to a movie on Christmas Day? That sounds way fun. Do you have one picked out for this year already or do you just kind of go to whatever is kind of in, uh, in the theaters the day of? Very cool. That sounds way fun. Sounds like we're going to be doing the like combo Christmas day this year and just going to like every, every Christmas house. <laughs> Nothing planned as of yet. Okay, cool. Very fun. I love going to the movies. That's a great tradition. Oh, what to do? It's gonna be intense, I think. <laughs> Going to every every Christmas uh everything this year. Not bad, just intense. have no plans so I'm not sure where we're gonna what all is gonna happen yeah that's fair it's a little early for plans unless you have like five or six families worth of in-laws you're trying to coordinate with in which case you're done last month <laughs> you're you're planning for uh Christmas while we're still while we still have Halloween decorations up basically <laughs>
So I didn't think about needing to shade these freaking ivy plants. And now I'm kind of like freaking out about that because look how many of them there are. Oh my gosh, I might not. I might just like, <laughs> I might just fake it. I might do like a couple here and there and then just not the rest of them. <laughs> Cause dang, so many. I guess let's start at the top, huh? I feel like this one panel is gonna take 10 years. <laughs> Whatever. That's how it goes with streaming sometimes. It's all good. Plus I think a lot of people are still on holidays. up on the channel they can rewatch it later as a VOD if they want to I knew I knew what I was signing up for moving from uh, Twitch to YouTube like I knew it was gonna have to be build the viewer base again that's fine recognize that that was how that was going to go down. fine it's how it goes yep exactly it's it's weird to come from like it's weird to come from someplace where there's no real way for people to find your stream and come to someplace where people can just kind of drop in whenever which is very cool I mean you still can drop in whenever on twitch it just doesn't there's no discoverability so you have to funnel people over from like TikTok and stuff. You still have to do that with YouTube, but uh, I have had a couple people drop in that were like, yeah, I found you searching illustration on the YouTube live thing. So that's very cool. Also, it doesn't seem like there's a ton of interest on YouTube or Twitch for making comics, but that's what I'm working on right now, so that's what I'm streaming. It's kind of a long project. So that's just that's just where we're at right now. Yeah, uh-huh. Every every uh, live video and then also like the actual uploads that I'm doing have tags on them. Sometimes there's just not a lot of people like searching for specific tags for like live streams. Just like how on Twitch it's mostly gaming and there's just a couple of art channels. Not a couple. I mean, there's a ton of art channels, but like there's just, there's a lot less art channels than there are gaming channels. Yeah.
yep, you can put tags on your videos. You can put um, hashtags in the titles now, I think, as well, which is fairly new. This ivy is going to be the death of me. <laughs> I don't even know if it's actually worth doing all. Uh, it looks better. I don't know. Maybe we'll just do a couple more lines and not shade the whole thing. Also thinking we can fill a lot more of this in. Just have a few of the top ones showing at that like full brightness. seen a lot of people use the like the shorts feature on YouTube too so it's kind of like TikTok but it's on YouTube I feel like everybody's trying to get in on that because you've got the reels thing and then the YouTube shorts and then I guess now Etsy is trying to get on there too with like Etsy discover I don't know why I don't know why I guess like that TikTok money is probably pretty good. Everybody wants a little piece of that. Too good to resist. I don't know. It's weird with social media because people don't go to YouTube right now to look for short short little like videos like that they go to youtube for like longer form videos so it's strange to be trying to think of like what can i put on my youtube shorts weird there's a sample in the background of this song that sounds exactly like my rice cooker finishing <laughs> it's throwing me off i keep thinking like oh why was there rice in the cooker <laughs> so stupid must have sampled my rice cooker to include it in their in their lo-fi I mean it is adorable it does sing an adorable little song when it's done cooking your rice can't blame them
right. I love it. I love, I love my tiny robot appliance army. Now I've got like a dishwasher that sings when it's done, a rice cooker when it sings, that sings when it's done, and a washer and dryer that both do it too. It cracks me up. It just makes like house cleaning tasks so much more cheerful. All right, we're almost done with this. Yes. I'm hyped about that. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. Not gonna lie, that's pretty nice for what it is. Oh, yeah. The, like a reminder that sends online so it will send to your phone. I need to do that for like laundry because we are always forgetting laundry in the washer. <laughs> it's like constantly over here. Especially the bedding. The bedding is the worst when you leave the bedding in the washer. And it's like 11 p.m. and you're like, oh, I gotta go to sleep right now. Otherwise I'm gonna be so stressed and cranky tomorrow. The bedding is in the, in the washer still and it isn't dry. <laughs> A nightmare. <laughs> other time that we do the laundry or the bedding. I think this whole thing should probably be in shadow. Except for maybe just the edge right there. This is kind of complicated to... to, uh... calculate all this stuff. Like, what's gonna be in shadow and what isn't. and put on bed then you are awake to go to sleep <laughs> put the wet bedding on the bed oh my god <laughs> Yeah. 
I just need like an alarm clock that goes off every 15 minutes when I've got the laundry in. That's like, hey, did you go take care of the laundry? Oh, you didn't? You're still playing Animal Crossing? Hey, go take care of the laundry. <laughs> 15 minutes later, hey, did you do that thing yet? <laughs> no? Are you trying to have what bed bedding at bedtime? Oh, you're not. Okay, get up and do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still warm. Mm -hmm. I love that. It's peak coziness. dry bedding <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah nobody wants wet bedding that's not a thing that's an actual nightmare to put in there's like a spider web right here I don't love though. What the heck happened here? I made a mess. think about how long it was going to take to do the 
this many like shading layers? That might be a mistake. We'll have to see. I don't know, this comic might have actually just looked better in black and white. We'll have to just wait and see. Kind of frustrating if it does though, right? relaxing though just like kind of doing some little highlights and stuff it's kind of like the inking process but a little bit more like we can add like some crazier details
luckily I didn't do too many uh, setup shots past like the first couple of pages. There's a few, but there's not like this many. I feel like this bit might be a little bit uh, intensive though. <laughs> good enough and move on to the next one which I think is already done I think there's just this like space at the bottom that needs to get filled easily like half the page though which is awesome I love that I'm excited to see what a whole page of this complete looks like oh you're upgrading your computer again nice nice to support VR better or just for, for PC gaming in general. opened up Blender for the first time since we upgraded my PC and like the first thing it did when I was trying to um, like re-smooth a layer, re, uh, re-polygon a layer was like crash and I'm like oh no it's still a potato no <laughs> should be fine it's it's not a function that I really should have even been doing Certainly not in the manner that I was doing it. Thank you. 
interesting. This panel's kind of weird. I think it should be really pretty when it's done, though. We'll see. It looks so cute. Yeah, no problem. Talk to you later, Nate. Go do your job. Thanks for hanging out. It's always nice to talk to you. page done today. That would be pretty cool. add a little bit of variety to these books but not like so much that they they pull too much focus hopefully that's hopefully that's what we accomplished and not just like super annoying yeah that should be fine that should be fine and then we're gonna use our annoyingly bright green to do the candelabra and the fixtures over here. Because I think it'll look cool.
probably about as much time as we really need to spend on the flats. And now we can kind of go in with the shadow area. going about this this shadow section is I did I chose shades of gray and green for the whole comic and then I'm shading it in a kind of a pumpkin color like a dark uh, dark orange so I am doing kind of like a, a base layer with a big grainy shader like this just to kind of show your eye where the focus is going to be um, and then so some of these I'm kind of vignetting all the way in like this that's what the difference looks like back over the top of that with a second pass on another layer with that same color so it layers up the shadows in a really interesting way I don't know I really like how it came out the first time so that's what I've been doing I think this would work for any color though past I've done this this kind of thing with like a light grayish purple and those turned out pretty cool um, I did end up for a while at least just shading everything with a grayish purple which was kind of annoying after a bit but I think it has a really interesting effect and can unify a color scheme to kind of shade like this very intentionally wanted this to be the opposite of the of the green that I was using and I think that makes for a very interesting like it gives it some depth get you guys a color
Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I wonder, is there a... No, there's like nothing there. Wow. Okay. There we go. Very silly. Those layers don't exist. It's always a fun, a fun time. I love trying to find lost layers. Noticing that I put a table runner on this table and forgot to color it. So I'll do that really quick. There's a ton of ways that you can like fill fill areas like this. Um, today I'm just kind of feeling the painted in method. So we're painting in it. There's obviously better and faster ways like the select and fill tool that we could be doing stuff like that Yeah, that gives it a little bit of extra like texture and interest. It's basically just a a new layer on top of the line art and the colors that I have put that light green on top of, lower the opacity, and then just kind of erased away the the shine areas. I think that looks good and interesting. decide I think this maybe would have something like that across the floor yep yep that looks correct
this rug reminds me do you guys remember the mario where you go through the paintings i feel like we talk about that a lot i feel like that's like my most influential mario <laughs> Like that's the Mario that I have the most uh, experience with. look of this with the the shadows and then like the shadows being pulled back out that's interesting i like that it has kind of a cool a cool look to it to make this rug up here kind of like threadbare. I'm not interested in gritting out like the whole thing for sure, but I do think it adds a lot to add just some little like some little areas of texture. I think that helps us a ton. work is turning out to be not only just like really enjoyable for me but also a lot less a lot less precise and exacting than my illustration work usually is and I'm really digging the vibe of it it's very cool it's been very interesting to work on Fun. Kind of like learning. 
learning learning some new methods for myself not new methods I guess like new preferences like I, I think I do like this I like things a little a little messier Oh, that looks tight. Yes. Okay. I think we need to bring that over here too, though. Cool. I think we're probably done with that panel. Next. coffee. <laughs> Alright, we've already kind of decided. That the walls are this green color. Actually, maybe they don't need to be this green color. while we switch back and forth here for a minute so that I can match up the colors we're using. tight honestly I wonder if there's like are we getting eye fatigue at all <laughs> or are we good I think these are too bright we're gonna take these down because that looks a little bit more like eerie spooky and less uh Less, like bright. Let's do the same thing here. And then also here. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, that looks better. That bright, bright green, I think we're gonna need to do really, really sparingly. It's It takes over the whole everything. <laughs> it takes over everything.
Okay, we need our shadow layer here. Loving the like dark and stormy night vibes we're getting here. It's very cool. It's exactly what I wanted. So glad I was able to recover like most of two of those pages. It was like almost a whole afternoon of work. <laughs> so dumb. Ugh. Not gonna lie, I was completely losing it for a minute. somewhere. reason this this lo-fi song like reminds me of witcher a lot it's probably just like the the tv show the one with the bard that follows him around <laughs> see that um, season two of The Witcher Henry Cavill got replaced <laughs> I'm actually a huge fan of the actor that is taking his spot though so like it's fine I'm into it I wonder if he just decided that like it was too weird of a show and he didn't want to do it anymore <laughs> I work for DC now. This is too nerdy for me. I just want to be Superman. Lighting scenario here. Hmm. I'm trying to keep these panels, like the lighting in these panels, pretty simple.
hello there, tiny tabby. Actually, looks really cool. Let's do that. That looks fun. A little spooky. this green rug I think this is gonna draw your eye really in an interesting way we'll to see. it might be too bright we might have to cut it down but I think that's gonna be kind of cool I think I'm gonna save and take a little bit of a break and end the stream for today <laughs> you, think it, you think you'll ever pitch looks up comics name as a TV show? The incident at Mirkwood Manor. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say no to pitching it as a TV show. Do I think that it will get that far based on like where I am this year? Probably never. Let's, let's, how about this, Bucky? How about we get it into a, a book format and see how that does first? <laughs> I do love animation though. That is one of my, one of my biggest like art passions is making things move because it's just straight up magic. It looks so cool. Well, that's almost a whole page colored guys. That's amazing. Finally. We're definitely making some progress. That is for sure. Let's see without that purple filter on it. I hate that like when you're coloring the purple, the purple filters is just really annoying. I kind of wish you could get rid of that. I haven't found a way to do it yet in Clip Studio. If I do, I'll let you guys know for sure because it is mega annoying. <laughs> Tabby keeps pawing at me. Stop it. Stop it, you little weirdo. She just wants pets. Well, I hope you guys have an excellent week. Welcome back from your holiday weekend. Hope everything goes smooth uh, as we kind of move into December. Hope you guys are doing well. Everybody's staying safe and healthy. This is definitely like cold and flu season in an already kind of crazy time. So hope you are all good. And we will see you on Thursday. Have an excellent week. Bye.